Hello my friends and welcome back. I'm Mohsen and you are watching to the new video of the MKR developer channel. In this video I'm going to talk about the navigation component. As you remember, we have created a full playlist about the fragments, creating the fragments, transition between the fragments and passing the data between the fragments, passing the data from the activity to the fragment and so on. But we use the old fashioned way uh, to uh, achieve that purpose. This is one of the applications that we made together and uh, the idea was to open the application and see the first fragment and clicking on this button and coming to the second fragment and to do this uh, we had to uh, like define the fragments and write a bunch of codes and everything to achieve this. But there is a newer way that, uh, let's say, in last uh, two years is released by the Android and uh, is called Navigation Component. By the definition of the developer.android.com website, uh, you can have a host which can be a main activity and you can have a main fragment uh, in the host and from this fragment you can navigate to multiple fragments just like you can see in this picture uh, from this fragment to this 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 and from this one to this and this and even if you want you can come from this one to this one or to this one or to this one uh, just by uh, drawing these arrows between these uh, fragments and uh, it's so easy to work with it and in this video i will start uh, showing you how to use a navigation component and drawing these navigation graphs and later in the next videos we will uh, talk about passing the data and adding the widgets and everything into these uh, fragments uh, let's get started Okay, I have created this uh, new project and the idea of this video is uh, to have two fragments and navigate between these uh, two fragments using uh, navigation component. For this, uh, as you may notice, the navigation component is a XML uh, resource file. So just like the drawable layout and everything, we need a package here and uh, the old way to add these packages is like that and come here select the navigation and uh, press ok and it will be added here but uh, there is a better way using resource manager and here we have this navigation you can come here press the plus uh, navigation resource file and i'm going to call it my nav and pressing ok it will be created here and we should wait a second ok then uh, the android studio will ask uh, uh, to add the project dependency and I will press OK and Gradle project sync in progress let's go to the Gradle and as you see here uh, these two lines of code they are related to the navigation and automatically will be added to the dependencies in the build.gradle modular app uh, okay the uh, navigation component workplace is uh, created before starting let's go again to the developers website and here uh, you can see this node 
The navigation component requires Android Studio 3.3 or higher and uh, is uh, dependent on Java 8 language features. So uh, be aware of that. Here, uh, as I told you, we need uh, two fragments to navigate between them. Uh, this side, uh, we have the attributes and uh, we will talk about the features here later uh, here is my navigation uh, that xml file and uh, the old way to add the fragments was coming here right click new fragment and uh, fragment blank but here we can simply click this uh, plus and create new destination and here we will be redirected to this uh, adding fragment and just i can write here first fragment and finish the fragment is here and uh, in the resources the layout also is added okay i can drag it here and again another fragment second fragment finish and this is also added here i can add more and more fragments and uh, add them to one uh, activity okay uh, let me close this uh, as you notice uh, here on top of the first fragment we have this home icon uh, which means that this first fragment is the host and uh, plays the role of the launcher and when we are opening the application this fragment is supposed to uh, open first if I click on this and press this this one will be host or also i can right click here and uh, uh, set as a start destination and this one will be the host uh, let's go to the main activity uh, the layout and i'm going to delete this and here in the palette I'm writing nav and I need this one navigation host fragment I'm going to drag and drop it here and here is my nav uh, xml file I can click it and set it uh, as the navigation graph okay uh, here I'm going to connect it to the constraint Uh, let's go to the code and here match parent and again match parent and we don't need these margins I'm going to delete all of them and that's cool okay uh, let's go back to the navigation uh, the idea was to go from this fragment to the other fragment and here you can see this circle I'm going to click on it and hold it and draw this arrow from the first one to the second one and from the second one again to the first one and it will be just like this and if I had the new one the third one I could do it for that as well uh, okay let's go to the layout of these fragments and uh, do some changes here the first fragment okay
Okay, that's good. We don't need them anymore. And now into the navigation graph, you can see the changes here. And uh, this one is set as the main. So let's check it on the emulator. What do we have till now? Okay, I have the first fragment here uh, into the main activity and uh, to go from this fragment to the other fragment I am going to add the function certain click listener for this uh, text view and by clicking on it we will go to the second fragment. Uh, here let's take a look at uh, the codes that we have created by uh, drawing these arrows and everything. Here, as I told you, the navigation component is XML file. So we have XML codes here. We have uh, this uh, navigation uh, tag and uh, the, des the start destination uh, is the first fragment here. And we have these uh, two fragments located inside this. And we have two actions here and here. These actions are actually this, uh, as you see, I'm clicking on this and this one will be highlighted. And by clicking on this one, this one will be highlighted. These actions are these arrows and each of them has uh, its own ID. Uh, let me change the IDs. Okay, uh, these are the codes and now uh, let's go to the uh, fragment first, okay, we don't need these codes and we can delete them. Okay, that's good. And here. If you don't know uh, how to uh, work with the fragment, you can click on this link and watch the full uh, playlist of uh, uh, fragments and you will be familiar with uh, the fragments and using them So TV fragment one dot uh, set on click listener and here navigation dot find nav controller and here we are passing the view and that navigate 
r.id dot this one go from first fragment to the second fragment just like this and uh, for the second fragment we are going to copy them as well we don't need this code changing the IDs and here instead of this go from second fragment to first fragment and uh, let's check it on the emulator Okay, we are in the fragment one. I'm clicking on this and we will navigate to the second fragment and by clicking on this, we'll go back to the first fragment. That's so easy. And uh, here into the my navigation graph, uh, uh, we can click on the arrows and uh, the attributes uh, has the animations and you can uh, select each animation that you want uh, for example the default animations are here a slide in left for enter anim and a slide out right okay for this one and for this one the same and if you want you can create your own animation and use them and let's check it on the emulator here is the first fragment and by this nice animation we can navigate between the fragments and that was everything about the first video of the navigation component be with me in the next videos to be more familiar with the navigation component and this uh, cool feature of the android studio thank you for your support uh, welcome to the new subscribers and if you haven't subscribed uh, my channel yet please uh, click the subscribe button and hit the bell button to be aware about new videos if you find this video interesting please remember to share it with your friends and give me a thumbs up and if you have any question please write down in the comment box below and i will be so happy to answer to your questions remember to subscribe the channel for new videos have a good time see you in next videos bye bye